Hello and welcome to the Bundesliga. A massive Bavarian derby today. It's Bayern Munich versus Nuremberg. Unbeaten in the league, early in the season, mind you, but that's the proud record that's on the line today. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler with you. Alan Smith is also joining me today. And it's a game which we're anticipating eagerly, I think, Alan, from the Bundesliga. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. We have every chance of a cracking game to them. Robin! It's another shot for the team, but not one that works the goalkeeper. Yeah, and I'm not sure he, he caught it properly as well as he would have liked that. And let's have a look at the referee today. It's Heiner Schnitti, France. Ball back, shots on here. Oh, well reached by the keeper to turn it away. So Bayern Munich have won a corner here. There is some backup for him in this position. Oh, what a cheeky attempt! Oh, he's going to shoot now. This is the chance. Can it be? That's a. Forward effort really for the goalkeeper. Catching practice. The layoff there to his teammate by the head. On the attack here. Crosses in. Robin! Offside here, Ian Robin. Side, I'm afraid. Yeah, when you are caught that far off, you have to wonder about the, the awareness of the player going forward. Chance to put it in the box from here. And the shot's off! Really well hit. And the keeper did well to get down to it. So this will be a corner for Bayern Munich. Trying to find Javi Martinez. Got his head to it. Could put it on to the target. Oh, unlucky. He's lost his marker and he's done ever so well to do that, but that final bit was eluding him. Oh, the opposition have got away with that one, having seen them miss it, but uh, they need to mark a bit tighter. The new manager starting at a club at this size, Alan. Well, it's a gamble. It came out of left field, really, didn't it? That appointment. Nobody expecting it. Muller. Here's a chance to attack. Past his man there. Robin! Just skimming the crossbar there. Challenge in. Up went the flag. Offside given. Free kick. Thomas Peckhard in midfield. They've got it back via an interception. Mario Goethe. Done. Good defending. Excellent block. Thomas Peckhardt. It's a tough ask for the visiting team today because the home side have won their last three matches. Well, and they're full of confidence, and with the home crowd behind them, I think it'll be tough for the visitors. Surely in with the chance. Robin! And that's a goal. Bayern Munich. Is 
his textbook from him. Oh, the ball's fallen to him there. It's just like a video game, isn't it? The way Hitch landed at his feet. Let's see the replay now. with their recent form. The last game they won against Hanover. Yeah, the result never looked in doubt in that 2-0 win, and uh, I don't think it would be in doubt for them today. I think they win. Yeah, he's gone too early. He's offside. Bayern Munich are reasonable at this position, I think. I have seen them play better than this, and they know they can play better than this, but it's promising. First half drawing to a close. He's got space, got to be. And he's taken the chance beautifully. Well, it certainly looks as though his first goal has given him the confidence to snatch another. Well, that has made it 2-0. special too yeah he had to keep his eye on it because he traveled fast and he did move in the air well there's going to be three minutes added on they've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here it's going to be a goal surely and he's headed it goalwards and easily within the goalkeeper's reach that shot mario goetze Here. That's a real tussle for the ball there. The defender dealt with it. Oh, puffing out his cheeks there, he was worried. And the referee is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. I guess, Alan, we're getting what we expected to this point. Yeah, and quite often you do get a shock in these circumstances, but you've got to hand it to the favourites. They've, uh, they've made their superiority count out there. So we reach half time. 2-0 the score with Bayern Munich leading. Let's take a look at the highlights from that first half and then we'll get straight back to the commentators for the rest of the contest. So we're all set for the second half. Diego Costa. Javi Martinez. Here. Could it be? Keeper got a touch, I think. They've got a corner now. Mario Goetze. And he takes the shot. Out for another corner. They've got power, they've got height, and when the corner's that accurate, only one end result. And the score is 3 0. Marcus Foyle that. Good movement to get to it. fresh enthusiasm from the bench. That's handball. Timo Gebhardt. Now Nielsen. Tackled well. Diego Costa. Right in on goal. Well, he has a go. Didn't get much time to see that, the goalkeeper. Good save. Just run back to the goalkeeper, he can pick it up. David Alaba. And he goes for the chip. Oh, he's almost 
celebrating the hat-trick as he went to the ball, and maybe that was why he was off target in the end. Yeah, perhaps. He has been in fine form, and I wouldn't rule out another chance and him converting it in this match. Dante. A wonderful, old-fashioned goalkeeping in many ways. Brilliant. Here he is with the chance. Tries his luck. The keeper refusing to be overpowered here. What a shot. Looking for Muller. Goalkeeper's got to collect the ball for a goal kick. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. We well, he could be in. You can understand his eagerness to try and get in. They're holding a high line, but he's offside. He's coming on now, and the supporters welcome him to see this debut, even though it is from the bench. Yeah. The supporters always like to see a new boy just to see exactly what their manager has invested in, and I think they won't be disappointed with him. He scored! Another big goal for Bayern. I don't think they're going to be caught now, do you? No, I don't think so. Not with the professionalism in that team. It's a wonderful advantage at this stage. They lead by four goals to nil. I think that this team really had every chance of winning the game. The fans knew that, didn't they, when they came here? They did, and they've seen their team perform to the maximum, really, and uh, show that the golfing class has really paid out on that pitch today. Well, they've got some concern for the player. He's pulled up lame here, maybe a muscle difficulty. defending for all their work. Some options on the bench for the home team. Mario Goetze, not looking good, Alan, is it? It's an injury that's going to force the player who's still a new face, really, at this football club. He's going to have to come off here. Yeah, he took a, a few knocks during the course of this game, but he seemed to get over them, but not this time. He'll have to come off. Expect Bayern Munich to play with the punch in there. It's a great opportunity. Shots on here. That's a good save from a venomous shot. Well, the corner count rises and rises. Well, here we can see the corner count so far. And he goes for goal. And hits it. Threw himself in front of the shot. Good block. Tough for the defenders, they keep conceding these corners. to the goal. What an enjoyable goal to watch. It must have been great to participate in. Well, one of those goals that looks like has been practised on the training ground several times. Now they've made it 
in charge because they kept the foot on the gas. They showed no mercy at all. So it's finished with the score. Well, that's all from us here. Let's join Mike West for the classified results. Thanks, Martin and Alan. Bundesliga. Bayer Leverkusen, 1. Borussia Mönchengladbach, 1. Eintracht Brunschwig, 0. Eintracht Frankfurt, 1. Bayern Munich, 5. Nuremberg, 0. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Bayern Munich with 12 points. In second, Borussia Dortmund with 12 points. In third, Bayer Leverkusen with 7 points. In fourth, VfB Stuttgart with 6 points. In fifth, Schalke with 5 points. In sixth, Wolfsburg with 5 points. In seventh, Hamburg with 4 points. Bottom of the table, Eintracht Bronsvig with no points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Hanover with 1 point. Third bottom, Augsburg with 1 point. Fourth bottom, Hoffenheim with one point. Fifth bottom, Eintracht Frankfurt with three points.